Hello everyone, I am Marina Gurung, PhD student here at the University of Arkansas Little Rock and today we are going to talk about our project named Decoding YouTube's Recommendation System, a Comparative Study of Metadata and GPT-4 Extracted Narrative. This research is done in collaboration with my fellow lab members, Mono Arul and Dr. Ahmad Altawil, as well as my professor, Dr. Nitin Agrawal. YouTube today isn't just a platform for videos. It, it's a force that shapes opinions, drive conversation, and influences the world around us as it has a huge user base of 2.7 billion worldwide. Now, YouTube itself came out with a report and suggested that the 70% of the total um, total consumption that's done by their users is suggested by the platform itself. That's just a testament of the immense influence, inf influence YouTube holds over what we watch and discuss online. But it doesn't stop there. When you engage with a video on YouTube, you're not just watching. You are setting off a chain reaction. The platform, uh, YouTube, curates additional content tailored to your preference, creating a continuous loop of fresh recommendation. It's, it's the seamless experience that keeps us coming back for more and more. Now, this has led to uh, allegations of biasness um, in the platform. However, the researchers have delved into YouTube's recommendation system, but what we have found out that the researcher often rely on the metadata of these videos like the title and the description. Now, this situation presents two significant issues. First, the title and the description of the video may not always accurately represent what's inside the content. Through our research, we discovered that titles are often highly high have high level of toxicity, even though the content itself may not be. For instance, consider the attached video where the title suggests that the, the, there is depression of total war between U.S. and China, hinting as a hinting at a future conflict. However, upon viewing the video narrative, we we found that the video predominantly focuses on past event, event and potential future scenarios presenting a narrative that is notably less uh, toxic than the initially that initially implied in the title our methodology uses LLM like GPT to overcome current limitation and also caters diverse format of videos such as conference and forums I have added as one of the example of our results where the titles are highly tax toxic whereas the actual narrative from the video is not. 